Nolichet here at Tukes Meadery. Good stuff in here, yeah! Welcome to Nolichet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel search for the best burger restaurant, we do our restaurant review videos on a Cajun meat fest at Tukes Meadery. As we enjoy great venison, burgers, fried turkey necks, and chicken liver mousse. Tubes Meadery is located in the Mid-City neighborhood of New Orleans at 845 North Carrollton Avenue, which is about 10 minutes and 3 miles away from the French Quarter. This is a beautiful area of New Orleans here in Mid-City. Tubes Meadery opened here back in 2012 and has become noted as one of the most popular Cajun restaurants in Mid-City. Our famous food eating videos bring you here for the Louisiana Cajun Food Eat With Me Feast we will have today. Many restaurant review video shows have given this place high praise on their famous eating show reviews. And meat fans looking for the top food New Orleans offers in the Cajun meat realm need to add Toops Meadery to their list as many restaurant review videos have really loved the food here. So you see they have a great patio outside. They've done an interesting job of painting everything on the outside of the building in uh, very colorful designs. So this is a very festive looking place and they've got a lot of beautiful flowers around. So you see you've got a lot of outdoor dining options here. Now we're just going to go ahead and head on inside and check this place out. So I'm meeting my friend Dave here from Yelp and we're going to have a fantastic feast. So as we look around, they have a really interesting design inside, and they've uh, definitely got some nice stuff to see in here. So it's a comfortable space in here, and uh, you definitely have enough space to spread out, but it's not too big of a place, so it's still a bit intimate still. So they also have a nice bar area here, and the uh, dining rooms definitely have different characters depending if you're in this main one or in the little side one there or on the outdoor patio. So you've got a lot of different kind of feelings to the different areas from outside to inside. And you've also got a window here you can look in the kitchen because hey, right here's where all the magic happens. So when your food's ready, they put it here in the window, then your server picks it up and brings it to you. So it's really nice to have a little window to the behind the scenes there. They have a really nice looking bar and they make some great drinks here. Oh look, it's Yelp Dave! What's up, big guy? Yeah! <laughs> All right, I hope we're hungry. I am. Oh, <laughs> All right, we're gonna have good time. to the right place. I think so, there's a lot of food here. I hear good things. Well, you know, you like to eat, so it'll be fun. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the menu now. They have small plates with a cheese board, a foie gras torchon, mixed green salad, roasted golf shrimp, marinated crab claws, a daily veggie plate, Louisiana crispy chicken lovers, venison and pork meatballs, crispy turkey necks, the meadery board, then a la carte with boudin balls, cracklins, chicken liver mousse, rillons, hogshead cheese, cured meat, cornbread, daily sausage, dirty rice, cucumber salad, and pickle plate. Then we have the sandwiches, Toops Burger, Wagyu Beef, Pickled Squash, Cheddar Bacon, Creole Aioli, Buttermilk Fried Chicken Sandwich, Beer Battered Redfish Sandwich, The Chef's Lunch is a Boudin Burger and Beer Combo, Large Plates, Confit Chicken Thighs, Seared Venison Loin, Gulf Seafood Covillon, Louisiana Jumbo Lump Crab Chopped Salad and Wagyu Steak. Then on the other side of the menu we have cocktails, draft beers, wines by the glass, and can and bottle beers. So we decided to kick our meal off with some of the chicken liver mousse and some fried turkey necks. This will be interesting. <laughs> Martin's got good food. Yeah, they've got some good pot <laughs> A little uh, chicken liver pate. <laughs> mm. So I think for my last meal, I'm going to ask for some of these chicken livers <laughs> and some of this, uh, some of this onion stuff. This is fantastic. Really nice. So all good? So far, so good. I don't know what this is. And it's a little bit of a, a, a bizarre flavor. I, I don't find it complements uh, the the uh, 
chicken liver very well. Man, this is fantastic. I can't believe people throw chicken livers away when this is this good. <laughs> and how's that turkey duck? Turkey duck's tasty as well. Uh, and we haven't tried the boudin balls yet, but I can't wait to get and hit some of that Creole mustard. Oh, Creole mustard is the best mustard. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna save that other turkey neck for you, brother. I'll tell you. And I'm gonna try one of these boudin balls, a little turkey deck. Pickled fennel. Mm. I actually didn't like it. A little uh, vegetable to go with my meat best. Dave got the chef's lunch, which comes with boudin balls. Personally, I don't like boudin. So, don't tell anybody, I might get cut, cut of Louisiana. Put the pickles on top, we're good. Time for a little boudin. So fixing to destroy this last boudin ball here. All loving, right. Loving the Creole cream cheese, loving the uh, richness of the uh, of the boudin ball. It is uh, not what I was expecting. It is much creamier than I thought on the inside. But the Creole mustard adds a real nice little tang to the back of it, and uh, the spice level is just right. And you're a real Cajun too, right? A real deal. So you would know. They say they want on relax. Treble. <laughs> Fantastic. Very nice. Very rich. The slap your mama good. It's crazy rich. Nice. Really good. So now we reveal that Dave is a Cajun. Chef Slutch also comes with a burger, and then I loved the pickled squash on there. It really gave it an interesting twist. And then I got the delicious venison plate. Whoa. So Dave's eating the big burger. Dude, this is right. The patty is so well spiced. It's juicy, you can see it dripping. The bacon is nice. The seasoning on the uh, meat is good. The meat's not too densely packed, so it tastes great. I'm not sure what the squash is adding to it, but the, you pick up on a strong mustard flavor. So maybe they dip the squash in the mustard because they seem un un unusually orange, excuse me, yellow. But all in all, it works very well together. It's a delicious burger. Let's see that meat. Oh, super filling, brother. Super filling. So you're gonna eat two of those today? Negative. <laughs> <laughs> negative Ghost Rider. Negative. <laughs> negative. We're gonna have a little Oktoberfest flashback. Roast. A little Hirsch roasted venison. Oh yeah! Look at that. That's fantastic. So tender, delicious, juicy. Oh, it's so good. Spatzel. Mm. That's good. What is that? A little eggplant tomato jam on here. Ooh. It's got a very unique flavor to it. Mm. This stuff's so good. Yeah, I have uh, happy flavors on my tongue soon. Mm.
If you think this venison looks amazing, just go ahead and destroy that thumbs up like button. Last bite. Roast. This was delicious. Ah, donc chon d'atout. So, just like I destroyed that venison and destroyed that beer, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And Dave didn't quite finish his plate, but he got full. He was really happy. Now the total bill was eighty-four dollars and thirty-six cents for both of us. But I had to go back and get the burger myself. Look at this thing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now I left the bacon off, but uh, this thing still looks quite juicy and delicious. Oh, look at here. Now, if you pay really close attention as I'm eating this thing, there's juices just dripping out of the meat down my hand the entire time. And oh, it's like dripping all over my face too. <laughs> so this is a very juicy, delicious piece of meat on this burger. And it's just chock full of flavor. The bun seems to be doing a good job of maintaining structural cohesion and everything staying inside. The fact there's no lettuce or tomato on there might also be helping uh, keep it together better as well. But each bite is really pleasurable and it's just uh, full of flavor and juiciness with every bite. And the cheese on there really complements it, so it's a good combination so far. I've been enjoying every bite. The meat is also a nice thick piece, so you're not going to be starving after eating this, certainly. You're definitely getting a full-size meal here with burger. And I really love Creole mustard, so the Creole mustard aioli they put on here perfectly complements my flavor profiles. So I really like the way this thing comes other than the bacon. And wow, I'm left with a little tiny piece of bun with no meat, which is uh, not too terrible. It's just a small little piece, and I'd say overall the bun meat ratio was spot on. So just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. If you thought this burger looked amazing too, we still have to finish all these chips. I made a little nacho with a piece of the meat that fell down there earlier. And now let's uh, sample one of these pickled squash by themselves and see what they taste like. Okay, so um, it tastes like a pickle pretty, uh, pretty amazingly enough. So just like I've destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the total was $35.52, which was for two people eating the burger. Uh, now, unfortunately, my dining companion had a lot of gristle in their burger, so it wasn't all a success. My burger was fantastic, but the other one was a flop, unfortunately, because of the gristle. The service could also certainly be improved, and there are plenty of Yelp reviews that mention issues with service. But overall, I really enjoyed my time at Tubes. So thanks so much to everybody at Tubes for the amazing venison and the fantastic burger. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. So make sure you tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.